much. Now, why have you girls both got coats on? Because okay. it is particularly chilly in here because I do like the aircon on quite high, don't I? But that's not the reason, is it? <laughs> well, we're here, I'm here today to talk about spring, summer 14 styling. And we've started with outerwear. I want to okay. start with outerwear. And I think when you think spring, the first thing that comes to my mind is an essential, the trench coat. Yeah. Exactly. So I've uh, chosen two of my favorites. Um, this one here, I'm dating myself a little bit, but this one's been with me since high school. Oh, but that wow. just, it goes to show that a good <laughs> trench coat um, is a good investment. And it's just so versatile, it's so spring. And um, this one here in a lovely earth green with a little bit of texture and a little bit of pattern in it. Um, you just can't go wrong with a trench coat. Uh -huh. It looks fabulous. Also, I too, love the details of it, it's just amazing. Also, too, I have my sister in a fedora hat, and you're seeing a lot of this right now, and it just really adds mm -hmm. a different dimension to a look. And if you can pull it off, and if you're feeling it, put it the hat on. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm a bit fearful well of wearing hats, as I'm not sure if I'll look a bit silly in them, or, but I, I want, I'd like to experiment one day. <laughs> All right, so. This one's a bit dangerous. <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> this hat, is it gonna flatten my Too hair? Gone, Probably put it on back to the front. Maybe not with what, really really good not what I'm wearing, yeah. perhaps. But. Exactly, and it's all about moving it and just wearing it yeah. the way that you okay. feel comfortable. That's Absolutely. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to start with um, my look, first of all. And uh, when I was thinking about what I would do, um, I was thinking everybody has that favorite pair of jeans, mm -hmm. that pair of jeans that they found that just fits them perfectly. You've washed them a hundred times too many. And uh, how can you really spring up or freshen up that look for yeah. spring, summer 14? So what I did is I started with an essential for spring, summer 14, and this is the white basic vest, mm -hmm. or as we say in Canada, the tank top. The tank top. The tank top. And basically they come in all shapes, sizes, and fabrics. I've chosen a cotton one that's quite fitted, and mm -hmm. it's quite long actually, but it allows me to do this ruching effect with yeah. it uh, to just add a little bit of texture. What I've also paired it with is a jacket. I, I love this jacket. I think it's that amazing. a jacket really like can bring a new look to an mm -hmm. outfit. And this is just a little piece that I caught my eye at a vintage sale. And I was really drawn to the floral. Spring and British florals are really mm -hmm. on trend this season. And uh, the beautiful brocade jacquard fabric. And you just want to look for those little details in a jacket that really make it pop out. So like buttons applets, the shoulders, mm -hmm. anything. This one is, is quite unique as well because it's cut short, so you can really do yeah, a lot nice. with that. Gorgeous, show them the, the back as well. Yeah, and it's so. Anyhow, um, and then with this outfit, what I really liked about it was that you could do anything with the shoes. So at first I had on ankle boots, I had on knee-high boots, I had everything, and then I just chose at the very end, I thought I'm going to do a, a pop of colour and wear my Jimmy Choo heels. Mm. Can't go wrong with the open toe, it's spring, yeah. make sure your feet are ready, pedicure. Um, but basically that's what we went with. Great. And then it becomes really um, how, you, how you accessorize it. And for me, I just like to keep my accessories simple. I have a few rings, uh, my grandmother's necklace. But what you can do with it is really put um, different accessories with it. So I like mixing fabrics and textures. So I, the movement of this bag is amazing. Nice. It's just a long, you can wear it crossbody as well. But it's just a fringe suede. Uh, purse and when you walk you just you get that movement and it really mixes mm -hmm. the fabrics and, and just adds nice. a lot to the to the outfit and of course it is all about the shades I'm all about the shades <laughs> uh, just you know look in the mirror and see what you're feeling I mean you can change a look just by the shades these are my Yoko Ono mm -hmm. shades I love these <laughs> very Yoko <laughs> they look really good I hear the Beatles I hear the Beatles when I okay <laughs> Um, or you can actually take a look that's quite, um, you know, a jacket can be looked at as quite masculine. I was inspired by Yves Saint Laurent movie mm -hmm. that we went to yesterday. So here's my Yves Saint Laurent look. You've got more <laughs> harsh lines and it just makes it a little yeah, bit more yeah. you see that. powerful, I guess yeah, powerful. you could say. So it is all about what you're feeling and if you're really feeling it and you really want to walk down the high street and be noticed. These are so cool. I mean, <laughs> go for the big... I, I love yeah. these. <laughs> you got to be feeling these ones to wear them, but I think like you're up. in a time warp or something. <laughs> yeah, Where'd she come from? As well. <laughs> okay, but you can entirely change the look of the outfit too. You can go a little yeah. bit more simple, you know, with the per with the purse. But yeah. don't be afraid to experiment with the color, and you know, spring's all about different colors. Mm -hmm. and, and all oh, that both stuff. look really good with that outfit. Mm -hmm. Both mm -hmm. bags, cool. Okay, so on to Megan, what I've put my sister in for today. 
And with mine was a casual look, we did a bit of an evening look with my sister. And I chose this um, black silk and cotton dress. I chose it for a couple of reasons. This one's adjustable. You can um, adjust the top and adjust the bottom. So you can adjust the length of the skirt to whatever you're feeling like. Uh, don't forget to wear good underwear, Spanx. Uh, if you need to for this kind of look. Um, the oversized cut, especially on the top, is really in right now. And you can really play around with that top and move the skirt and everything. Um, with the oversized cut, don't think that, you know, maybe you have a small and it's still big. It's supposed to be big. Right, okay. And it's, it's supposed to move. Uh, with this, when you, can, when you accessorize, I went for a long pendant because I think you get a beautiful shape here. That's the wrong way. Beautiful shape with the oversized to have a hanging pendant mm, quite low. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing a lot of. Uh, I did a bit of pop of color. I don't like to go all, all black. So I did put this beautiful, again, vintage bracelet that I found. And you don't have to spend a lot, do you, to, to get these no. kind of things? If you just search around, you've That's got right. some great bargains there. That, that bracelet <laughs> was a fiver. Uh, all right. So um, anyways, and then with the shoes, I just went with a very classic, elegant uh, heel in black, again, open toe, make sure your feet are ready for this. <laughs> and you're gonna see a lot of straps mm -hmm. uh, for spring, summer 14. And a strap is really nice if you want to hide, say something like, let's just say a little larger feet or something like that. Are, are you trying to say something <laughs> or? No, not at all. She chose these shoes for me and said. <laughs> the ankle okay, strap okay, is just right. very delicate and it, it, it brings attention to a different part of the foot. So it's, watch for that. <laughs> so basically. <laughs> Now you are going to speak about this bag eventually because this is my oh, favorite. Right, right. I don't know if it matches with the outfit, but I this, love this bag. This is actually going with the outfit. This oh, is cool. what we call the knuckle clutch. Did you see? Did you guys just see that? Do that. Take that off again, Megan. Take it off. Let's do it. Put there it on. Go. And put your finger through. There you go. That's so cool. I love it. Dual purpose. Yeah. Dual purpose. So you basically have <laughs> a ring and you have a clutch, and you know that you'll never lose your purse because you're, it's part of your hand for the night, right? <laughs> so, and people know you can't borrow this ring. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it doesn't come off. And again, the shades, gotta, gotta be feeling the shades. And uh, I went with a, uh, a little bit of a 50s look. I'm mm -hmm. seeing like these like tortoise rimmed shades. I'm really in love with these ones. Um, and they look great on her they and do. yeah, they really are. I don't know if we've got time to talk about one more jacket that we've got under here. Do we have time guys? How long? Sorry. Oh, we've got one minute. Do you want oh, to do talk we? About oh, this sure. One? Okay. Because I, I love this one. Oh, unfortunately, do you, Megan, do you want to put it on quickly because because of your yeah. because of the mic? I know it doesn't match the outfit, but <laughs> just for them to see the style of it. That's what I meant to say. Is like you know, any jacket really brightens up an outfit, and always look for those little details. And in this one, we have like the bow makes it very feminine. Yeah. The mm -hmm. little bit of ruffles. On I the... love this jacket. There's a buckle at the back as well. Exactly. Yeah, it's really lovely. Okay, girls. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well done. Spring, summer 14. We've got some really great looks there and hopefully some lovely ideas for our viewers. So we'll see you again next time, okay. girls, all right? Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that is it for today, folks. But if you want more information about the show and also our guests tonight, you can visit the website chrissybshow.tv. And if you'd like to email me with any topic ideas, things that you'd like to see covered on this show, or if you have a question or comment for me, please do email me on chris at chrissybshow.tv. Bye-bye for now.